The Joint Light Tactical Vehicle JLTV, is a versatile military vehicle designed to perform a wide range of tasks, including transport, reconnaissance, and combat support. When it comes to anti-armor capabilities, the JLTV can be equipped with various weapon systems to engage armored threats effectively. These weapon systems can include Anti-tank guided missiles, ATGMs The JLTV can be fitted with launchers that can fire ATGMs, such as the FGM-148 Javelin. These missiles are designed to track and engage armored vehicles with precision. Remote Weapon Stations RWS Many JLTV variants are equipped with remote weapon stations that can mount heavy machine guns, automatic grenade launchers, or even anti-tank guided missile launchers. These RWS allow the operator to engage armored targets while staying protected inside the vehicle. Cannon-mounted turrets, some JLTV configurations feature manned turrets armed with autocannons or larger caliber cannons. These turrets can engage both armored and soft targets effectively. Counter-armor rockets, the vehicle might be equipped with unguided rockets or rocket pods that can carry anti-armor rockets, such as the Hydra 70 rockets with M151 warheads. Spike NLOS Missile System This is another type of anti-armor missile system that can be integrated into the JLTV. The Spike NLOS, non-line-of-sight, missile is designed for long-range precision strikes against armored and fortified targets. Active Protection Systems, APS, while not a direct anti-armor weapon, APS can be integrated into the JLTV to defend against incoming threats like rocket-propelled grenades, RPGs, and anti-tank missiles. APS systems can intercept and neutralize these threats before they hit the vehicle. It's important to note that the specific anti-armor capabilities of a JLTV will depend on the variant the country's requirements, and the available weapon systems. Military vehicles like the JLTV are often designed to be modular, allowing for different weapon systems to be integrated based on mission requirements.